Hey everyone, my name is Dagan Koffler. I'm a builder out of uh, Southern California in San Diego. And we're talking with uh, about one coat and three coat applications stucco over a Rockwell comfort board application. Rockwell has worked with um, some companies to have proprietary blends for a one coat. It's really a two coat, but they, they call it a one coat stucco product. And the benefit is that you can apply your lath directly to the exterior insulation. So normally a lot of us will use a, a two layers of 15 pound pelt over the top of our OSB, our WRB, and that creates our little like wrinkle, which is our air gap. I have this sort of almost identical setup in my house, and the one thing I can say is the house is, the first comment I get when people come in is, this house is extremely quiet. And then the second is, there's like, you never have to use your air conditioning because it's constantly perfect temperature. But really what it is, is you're combining your scratch and brown coat into one three eighths to half inch layer and then you do your color coat, which is about an eighth inch following that. I get asked a lot like, what do you have to do differently if you use exterior insulation versus applying your, your felt paper directly onto your OSB or sheathing? Not much is the answer. So like I said, we, we use a, a longer staple and most staple guns will run up to two and a half inches. So if you're using a one inch over the top, use a two and a half inch staple and you can go with a three inch deck screw with the plastic washer, super simple. But these are two wall assemblies that they just want to kind of show you basic assemblies. So you can see there's sheathing, that's an open, open wall. In our areas, we sheet the whole house, so it's pretty standard for us. So it's OSB, and in in, for us at a company, we predominantly use zip and then we tape it and we have a water resistant barrier there. And then what we would normally do is we'd apply our rigid rock wool comfort board directly onto the zip. And then we, I actually on my own home, I did two layers of felt and I did a traditional. But again, the whole talk here is that you can do it with a one coat direct applied lath. So here's a couple examples of what it looks like as, as you're going through the steps. You can also do it in some areas that need a ventilation gap. You can have furring strips on top of the rock wool, and then you can put your paper or your lath directly over the top of that. In certain areas, you can create a rain screen, and I'll show you there's, here's a cutout elevation of those. Um, so again, the, the, the system is almost identical. You start with your, your sheathing, your WRB, your rock wool insulation, and then you'll have furring strips for that air gap. So it's a really cool application. There's benefits to both. I think three coat, if you're highly, highly on the, on the upper end and you need a dead flat wall and you want to cure properly, three coat's the way to go sometimes. But the one coat system is obviously time efficiency. You can do all the same textures. You can do smooth, sand finish, cat face, Spanish. You can do all the same textures that needed. And then here's just a couple big things, especially in California. And that's one of the reasons I did it prior to, you know, catastrophic things that happened in California. Uh, I did it because we're in a pretty fire prone area. One of the ways of combating it is having closed soffits, uh, gable vents that are either uh, have grits on them and then adding exterior insulation, creating a one hour firewall. So the other components you see, it's vapor permeable, sound absorbent, and it's durable. It's made of rock, so it's pest resistant. Rodents don't like it, termites don't like it. So it's another big bonus for us in that, in that regard. These are a couple images of actually, this is my personal home that I just built. So I use rock wool in, in quite a few different areas. You can see that is a non-vented roof and it's a vaulted, uh, ceiling in the interior, which you can see on the last photo. So I had to get very, very creative with how I ran my ducting. So if you can see those two shafts, those are custom ducting, which I had to make. So I have a, I made a soffit inside that carries my air handler, which is for a heat pump. And then I actually made custom ducting and I sandwiched it in between rock wool. And here is just uh, one of my guys putting on the scratch coat. And you can see it looks like a standard application, but that little return, you can see you get about an inch and a half deeper return. In most cases, it's kind of a benefit. It really gives you that architectural appeal. And uh, when, it, when it's doing a smooth coat, it really has a really, really pretty appeal. We use headers everywhere or lentils. So those wrapped uh, sections above are reclaimed lentils. So again, those, were pro those are proud. This section right here got stone. That's why those headers are out about three inches. So the stone eventually came out flush with those lentils. So these are all things obviously you have to pre-plan for when you're, when you're working in this. But this is a you know, standard application. We did a three coat system. So this is our scratch. They came back and screeded it. And there's our finished coat going on.
So that gun shooting out two and a half inch staples there. So that's our finished coat. We went for a sort of very earthy tone, but you can see it has all that, that movement, what you're looking for in a Santa Barbara. And you can see the, the lentils at the top, everything fleshed out, and then you get that sort of really deep return. You can see the stone, all those lentils fleshed out because we planned for that. All the upper sections, all the lentils fleshed out to the stucco. So we set those at different depths. And then all of that section, we did scratch and brown where the stone is. The stucco section, it got the three coat applied. You know, as, as you look at it and you're thinking, well, is, is this a difficult thing to do? Is it a difficult thing to accomplish? The answer is if you wanted to have all the benefits of getting that exterior insulation for fire resistance, for comfort, for sound, the steps that you have to take as a contractor are pretty minimal. And that was kind of the one point I wanted to, to make pretty emphasis is you add a three inch screw with some plastic washers. You tell your contractor to use a two and a half inch screw versus a one and a half inch foot they usually use. And other than that, you can go at it the same way that you would any stucco application. So whether you want to apply a one coat system where you're applying the lat directly onto your extra insulation, or you want to go with the three coat and do a two layer, they're both very similar products as far as applications for a stucco contractor. So product looks the same, looks beautiful. There's a lot of benefits to going on the exterior too.